हेलो क्वालिटी मंच व्यूअर्स वेलकम टू अनदर एक्साइटिंग वीडियो रिलेटेड टू क्वालिटी आई एम जितेंद्र नाथ आई एम डिलाइटेड टू हैव यू हियर विथ टेन इयर्स ऑफ एक्सपीरियंस इन क्वालिटी फील्ड आई एम पैशनेट अबाउट शेयरिंग वैल्यूबल इनसाइट्स विद यू इन टूडेज वीडियो आई विल बी इंट्रोड्यूसिंग न्यू सेवन के सीट्यूट्स बट बिफोर वी बिगिन आई काइंडली रिक्वेस्ट यू टू वॉच दिस वीडियो एंटायरली एंड एक्सप्लोर माई अदर वीडियोज related to quality i am confident you will find it informative and engaging now let's dive into the new 7k tools and uncover their power in solving complex challenges get ready to enhance your knowledge and discover practical techniques that will help you excel in quality management in the world of quality management dr koru ishikawa created the original 7k tools which were widely used to solve quality problems but as time passed quality management became more complex giving rise to new challenges to tackle these challenges more advanced tools were developed in the late 1970s these tools are known as the quality management and planning tools or the new 7k tools these tools were specifically designed to address the growing complexity of quality management they offer additional techniques for problem solving and decision making let's explore each of these tools to see how they can help us navigate the complexity of quality management the affinity diagram also known as the kj diagram is a tool used to organize and categorize ideas it helps make sense of a large amount of information and was developed by kawakita zero a japanese management consultant here we can have an example of brainstorming to improve customer satisfaction on an e-commerce website initially we get number of ideas in the first image you can see these ideas generated from brainstorming can you get insight from this it may be difficult to find patterns or make informed decisions here's where the affinity diagram comes into picture in second image you can see how ideas are grouped under heading based on their natural affinity or relation to each other it allows ideas to be sorted and grouped into meaningful categories bringing clarity and insights this process helps us identify themes prioritize action and encourages collaboration ensuring that everyone's ideas are taken into consideration one of the significant advantage of affinity diagram is its ability to handle a large amount of ideas even ranging from 100 to 1000 without this tool gaining insights from such a vast amount of information would be extremely challenging in the summary the affinity diagram is a powerful tool that organizes ideas help us to find patterns and make informed decisions force field analysis is a decision making tool it is used to assess the driving and opposing forces that influence a change or decision let's consider the example of implementing a new employee training program where you can have driving forces like inadequate skill levels of current employees high employee turnover rate desire for performance improvement and demand for specialized knowledge these driving forces push for change to happen and highlight the need for the new employee training program at the same time there will be some opposing forces like limited budget for training initiatives compared with the existing system resistance to change from employees and lack of available time for training these opposing forces resist change and create challenges in implementing new employee training program by analyzing these forces 
we can understand the reasons behind both the need for change and the challenges we may face this helps us make informed decision and develop strategies to address the opposing forces a tree diagram is a visual tool that arranges ideas or concepts in a structured manner it helps us understand relationships and the flow of information or decisions it simplifies complex information and makes it easier to grasp let's understand with the example if we are planning for a memorable vacation first we start with the main categories like destination selection transportation and accommodation this acts as the main branches of our diagram under destination selection we can further break down options like beach city and mountain these represent different types of destination to consider similarly under transportation we can have branches for flight train and road indicating the different modes of transportation available lastly under accommodation we can have branches for hotel rental and camping representing various lodging choices thus tree diagram break down a goal or broad category into fine level of details the process decision program chart pdpc is a valuable tool for identifying potential problems or risk in a specific task or process it helps us develop preventive actions and contingency plans to mitigate this risk in our example of planning a memorable vacation we previously used a tree diagram to outline the main categories destination selection transportation and accommodation now let's apply the pdpc to identify potential risk associated with each categories under destination selection we have identified the risk of unpredictable weather under transportation the risk we have is of limited flight availability and under accommodation we have the risk of high accommodation cost during peak season to counter this risk we can take specific actions for unpredictable weather we may consider researching the climate of that destination and having alternative indoor activities planned to address this limited flight availability we can book our flights well in advance to secure the desired dates and times and for high accommodation cost during peak season we can compare prices explore alternative lodging options and potentially adjust our travel dates by using the pdpc we can evaluate each risk and determine the practicality of the countermeasure we use o to indicate practical solutions and x to represent unpractical one The matrix diagram is a visual tool used to analyze the relationships between different factors or elements within a system or process. It helps us understand the strengths of these relationships, dependencies and interactions. For example, let's consider comparing different smartphone models based on price, camera quality, battery life and storage space. we assign ratings from 1 to 5 to each factor for model a model b model c and model d using the matrix diagram we can visually represent the relationships among these factors we may observe that model number a has a higher price but better camera quality while model number c offers longer battery life but lower storage space this analysis helps us make informed decisions based on our priorities there are other matrix structures like t shape and x shape enabling us to analyze additional aspects the t shape allows for the comparison of three factors 
and the x shape accommodates the evolution of four factors thus matrix diagram is an interactive and intuitive tool that allows us to compare and evaluate various elements within a system or process it helps in decision making and identifying ideas for improvement the interrelationship diagram is a visual tool that helps us analyze and understand the complex relationships and interactions between different factors within a system its main purpose is to identify cause and effect relationships among the multiple factors for example let's consider factors such as employee motivation positive work environment rewards and recognition work life balance clear communication fair compensation and career development opportunities by using the interrelationship diagram we can observe that employee motivation has the most incoming arrows indicating it as a result of other factors on the other hand fair compensation has the most outgoing arrows suggesting it as a root cause for other factors in simpler terms the diagram helps us to see how these factors are connected and understand their impact on each other the relationship diagram is similar to cause and effect diagram but it analyzes the relationships among multiple factors instead of focusing on root cause of specific problem it helps us understand how different factors interact and influence each other the prioritization matrix is a decision making tool that helps us evaluate and prioritize items based on multiple criteria or factors it allows us to systematically compare options and determine their relative importance or priority for example let's consider prioritizing projects based on criteria like business strategy financial impact resource requirements and time to implement each criteria is assigned a weight totaling to 1 to represent its importance we then rate each project according to this criteria by multiplying the rating of each project by its respective criteria weight we can calculate a priority rating this rating helps us identify the project with the highest priority in our case the cost reduction project has a priority rating of 4.1 indicating that it is the highest priority project based on the given criteria the prioritization matrix simplifies the decision making process by providing a clear and objective way to compare and prioritize options